Hi guys, Happy New Year's. This is my first video of 2022. Today, I'm showing you guys my vision board, or my dream board, whatever you want to call it. I've seen a few other YouTubers do this. I was kind of pretty inspired by Luna Montana. I saw just her video on my recommended, and I was like, oh my god, I want to make a dream board, and I wanted to share it with you guys, because I think it's like really fun. I don't know. Basically, what a dream board or vision board is, is just... A bunch of pictures, words, like just images, you know, wherever you find your cute pictures. But I just found all of mine off of Pinterest and then I got a little poster board, glued them on, and arranged them how I felt was right. And I basically just made one for this year, for 2022, and I'm going to look back at it at the end of the year and see if these came to light, came true, if all the pictures and images I used for like manifestation and just inspiration for the year came to fruition. and end up being what I wanted it to be. So I'm just gonna go around and kind of give you guys a little tour of my dream board and maybe you can make one too. It's super easy and it was kind of fun to make and it made me feel like motivated. Let's get started. I'll start from this side. Sorry, it's kind of glossy so it might shine a little bit. So first I just put this little corner where I have some makeup, some hair, just, and I wrote self-expression on it. For me personally, I have always wanted to like do cool makeup but I just don't know how all the time. And I want to learn this year, and I want to be more interesting with my makeup and go out with like fun looks. And I also want to just take care of my hair more. I am already super good with my hair, but I want to make it like when someone looks at me, they're like, wow, like what do you do to your hair? Like that's crazy. That's just one of my goals this year is to try fun makeup and just have more self expression with makeup, I guess. Right below it, I put this little figure skater and just a pair of skates. I just want to start figure skating again. I actually did start figure skating again. I've taken one class so far and I'm just gonna keep doing my classes every week and hopefully I can like get super good and maybe one day like actually show you guys but I'm definitely not good enough right now to show you guys. I used to figure skate when I was younger and it was legitimately the only sport that I ever liked and that I ever felt I was remotely good at because I'm so unathletic. It is like painful how unathletic I am. So I just put the little ice skating gal as some inspiration for me. Right below it, I put this little knitting crochet thing, and that just shows I want to try to learn how to crochet or knit. That one's kind of a small goal. Maybe I'll get to it, maybe I won't, we'll see. And then right below the ice skating and the knitting, I just put some really yummy looking food. I really, really want to learn how to cook better. I am such an awful cook. Not necessarily I'm an awful cook, I think I just don't have the right tools to understand how to cook properly, but I really want to learn how to cook more because I have such a bad problem of eating out like all the time. I just put some fruit and some like salmon and a little heart shaped pizza and hopefully this year I can learn how to cook. So this is a really big portion of my dream board. It kind of takes up a lot of it but let me switch sides for you guys so you can see it better. All up here I put like room decor and just like some sort of home decor in general. I have a room here with like a bunch of windows and I just wrote many windows. <laughs> and then I put this like really pretty kind of um, mid-century modern decorated room. And I really like that style so that's what I would want if I ever moved into an apartment. A dining table right here with like some pretty lamps and some a bed sheet with like a lot of nice open lighting. And this just shows that I want my own apartment desperately. <laughs> I have been wanting my own apartment probably for a really, really long time, but I haven't been financially stable enough or independent enough to be able to move into an apartment or it just hasn't been the right circumstances. I was trying to move last year, but um, it just, it definitely was not the right time for me to move. But this year, hopefully I can achieve it. Even if it's way down later in the year, I'm gonna do the absolute best I can to move out. But for my apartment, I desperately really really want like a ton of windows because the current apartment I'm in right now that I've grown up in is horrid with lighting. It, I have one window, it's this way, I don't know if you can tell because I have a ring light, but it's a singular window and it never never gets direct light because I'm on like the wrong side of the sun. Okay guys, my camera died so now I'm back. Anyways, let us continue. So where I left off is I was talking about my apartment that I really want. One thing about the current place I live is that it's all of my mom's furniture and she doesn't want to get rid of it since I probably will move out at some point. So I totally understand that. But I am not a fan of her furniture choices. I just really want to decorate my own place and make it feel like my own home. Because right now my room sometimes just doesn't feel like that because it's not my stuff and I try my best to make it feel as much as my personality as I can but 
just the core furniture is not me. It just doesn't feel like that all the time, and that's something I really want with a new apartment. On this side, um, the last thing I have is just a bunch of pictures of people like hanging out. I have written friends for life, friends that will explore and travel. I have a bunch of pictures of people at like bonfires and just restaurants, dancing in the rain and like camping. And I really, really, I have some super good friends right now, but I want like a friend group that would travel with me and like do some more exploration with me, I guess, do more like crazy things. Cause right now a lot of my friends unfortunately are busy with like school or just it's not the right time to like travel and explore, which is totally understandable because I definitely can't travel right now either because of school. Um, so I'll move to the other side now. I'll start off with over here. So over here I have a bunch of pictures of like traveling spots. I have pictures of Italy, Hawaii, just places in Europe, um, just places abroad. I have a picture of a plane swimming and I just really want to travel like so badly because I've never gotten a chance to travel that much and that's something I super super want to do. I really want to go to Italy. Hopefully I can do that at some point. And I also just want to explore nature more because I haven't really gotten a chance to like be in nature that much. Like I haven't been to the mountains and just like, I don't know, cool like nature areas. Like I wanna see big trees and like big mountains, but I also wanna to go to tropical areas where there's clear water. And when I was able to go to Hawaii, swimming in that water was like a totally different experience. And I wanna be able to swim in a nice ocean like that again. I also just wanna try new things in nature. So a goal of mine this year is just to like explore nature more and travel if I can. And also go on a road trip because I have a little picture of a road trip here. I'm not sure where, but I really do wanna go on a road trip. We moved to the middle portion of this. I feel like this is so obvious, but like financial freedom, just financial independence and literacy. Like I learned more about my finances and just how to handle money. So I just put pictures of money and then I just put a heart that says financial freedom. But that's something I really want to accomplish and I'm sure like most people do. This year from working through social media or like YouTube, like I really want to get monetized on YouTube and that kind of has to do with the financial freedom aspect of this. That's one of my major goals this year, I think, is that I really do want to get monetized on YouTube. I just want to make my own money, like, and not have to rely on anyone else. Right next to that is kind of falls into the same category. I just have a picture of like a set, cameras, and like a little editing thing on a computer right here. And then I have a YouTube plaque right here that just says 100k subscribers. And I just wrote, YouTube success, work I love, passion, determination, stuff like that. I know it's kind of cheesy, but like, I was just kind of doing what I feel in the moment. I really, really love YouTube and I want to be able to focus on that this year. And just all the sets have to include with like brand deals and like people I might work with that I might model for. Like I might create my own stuff or I might model for someone else or just work with brands. And I have a picture of runway show right here. I really, really want to attend runway show. I have always loved how models walk the runway and just like, Paris Fashion Week and like all that stuff and it would be like a dream of mine to attend a runway show. I really really love Miu Miu shows and Jill Sanders and Issei Miyazaki. Uh, I can't think of any more right now but I really like runway shows and I watch a lot on YouTube. Right above that I just wrote my Instagram handle which is at lilyxch and then I wrote for surpassing 100,000 followers. That is a goal of mine too is to surpass 100,000 followers on Instagram. I'm really not going for an exact number though I'm just going for overall growth and just focus on that because I have some friends who are in the industry of like social media and it really inspires me to like keep going with it. It is a passion of mine and like I really enjoy it and I hope that this year can be a year where I focus on it and just grow and like learn about it. Um, and then right above that, just a little key that says my key to my apartment. And this is just another thing to me owning an apartment, which is I think my biggest goal on here is I truly, truly want to own an apartment. And then right below that, I have a video camera and this just shows I want to film everything and I want to get one of those VHS cameras or just those like older video cameras that I see a lot of people have nowadays. I think they look really cool and it would be really fun to like film everything. Even not to post, just to like have for the future. And I want to remember to film more because I always forget in the moment to film things. And I'm like, dang it, I should have taken a picture or something. Like I have zero pictures of my friends. And I think that's it. That's pretty much my entire dream slash vision board. And I'm just going to put it somewhere in my room where I can like see it every day so I can like visualize, you know, and like turn it into reality. I don't have that much knowledge on like manifestation or anything, but I felt good making this and I think that's all that really mattered to me. 
and I'm excited to look at it at the end of the year and see if any of this stuff came true and I'll probably make another YouTube video at the end of the year talking about it to see what we can compare and I'll make a new one. So thank you again to Luna Montana for inspiring me to do this but I had a really good time and I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was kind of just like a talking video but I just wanted to share it with you guys. So anyways, if you guys end up making a vision board or dream board, tag me in there. So that was it for this video and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a really good day.